Thank you very much, Sean. And um, Miranda, always a tough act to follow, both in business uh, and on the stage here. And um, Vista Heritage might sound a little old fashioned, might sound that it's a little parochial, but um, nothing could be further from the truth. If I told you that four years ago we happened upon a 4.3 billion pound a year industry employing 28,000 people, but it had no focal point, no centre, um, we, I think that you would agree with me that our mission would have to become to, to start that centre. We're actually a start-up. Um, we started three years ago this month, so we have our, uh, an interesting look back on what we've achieved over that time. And the industry I'm talking about is one surrounding historic cars and aviation. It's quite a sleeper in the UK. It's obviously hit the headlines most recently in the Financial Times on the weekend. Um, regarding its investment potential, but actually it is a, a cradle of craftsman skills, um, discretionary spend and deep interest, not only in the Oxfordshire area, but um, in the UK and further afield. We have been focusing on creating what is effectively a technology park. Uh, this technology park uh, uh, engenders the skills and the future of those skills, and we feel very much that we are about the future of this quite large industry. And to give you a benchmark, uh, our global whiskey exports, for example, are 4.6 billion per year. And in fact, our national uh, motorsport market is 9 billion per year. And so the historic car movement represents a, a huge chunk of, the, uh, of that sector and uh, has national significance in terms of size. So far, um, I'm pleased to report that of our first 12 businesses, uh, six were startups. And so we found ourselves incubating, um, as Matt Hancock says below, um, in a modern style startup businesses. These are people who had left the corporate dollar and stepped out on their own bravely to start businesses uh, in a benign environment where there are customers on site and we are building a global brand also um, to ensure that their uh, exposure is de-risked uh, since then, uh, we had a total of 12 businesses in the first year. Um, we've been adding roughly one per month. And now we find ourselves with uh, an array of 35 businesses on uh, effectively a technology park, benefiting from that cluster effect. Um, the referrals, the time savings, uh, the value add, not just for those synergies between the businesses, but also for the customers. And so rather like the Vista Village spaceship landing 20 years ago. Um, in the early days, we were at pains to describe what we were doing because effectively we had two customers. Um, firstly, the specialists themselves, so we described ourselves as a business part for them, but their customers, um, we describe uh, ourselves to uh, them as uh, more or less a, a marina for historic cars, a, a classic car country club, and are pleased to say that um, having Vista in our name has really accelerated uh, our opportunity and given us a, a national, if not global, recognition uh, very, very quickly. Uh, we're pleased also to be involved with the former RAF Vista site, um, 348 acres of uh, flatland, um, but we have 500 trees, about eight acres of covered space in 60 buildings, 19 listed buildings, 20 scheduled ancient monuments, and we are now being uh, held up by um, Historic England as a national exemplar for constructive conservation. And it was very kind of uh, Matt Hancock to uh, recognize our ambition, but also our focus uh, in saying that there's no reason why Vista Heritage can't become the global hub in heritage cars and planes, bringing talent, enthusiasm, and business together. Why Vista? Um, I think by the end of these uh, presentations, it'll become pretty obvious. Um, it's a, a fantastic environment um, to do business. When we got here, we were braced for problems. Uh, we'd inherited a site that had been derelict for 40 years. It was on the National At-Risk Register and considered uh, in the UK to be, uh, of all the defence estates, the one most at risk. But the spirit of Vista has been very much can-do. Um, we understand that you have ambition. We understand that there should be opportunity here, not just problems. And so um, through Vista Vision, through uh, many of our contacts, uh, which we've acquired very quickly, 
we've be, really been able to supercharge our business plan. We're here because uh, the same reason as uh, the Romans um, and the RAF, um, but also Bicester Village, it's uh, an unbeatable location. We, we think we're 90 minutes from roughly half the population um, and also uh, having such a, a strong brand as Brista, it has given us access not just to uh, recruitment but also um, to getting um, column inches for uh, media attention. And in fact, um, we've just had recent articles in uh, the Evening Standard last week um, and also across social media, and, uh, which is a, a wonderful way to get the message out there. Uh, we've been very pleased with our ability to access the stakeholders from Vista Vision through to Westminster. Uh, Vista is on everybody's agenda throughout those inst um, institutions, but um, when I say that in the same week we got a visit from our local parish uh, council, um, followed by the Secretary of State for Defence who wanted to find out what we were doing. Um, they didn't all arrive by helicopter, but um, the latter one did. Uh, it's no exaggeration to say that um, BISTA has, in its uh, own right, created a uh, recognition um, which is extremely valuable and, in fact, has de-risked our business plan um, quite considerably. So, in a nutshell, um, BISTA is uh, an on-the-move, energetic location. Um, we're very close to international airports. Uh, I think that it ha it's credited with the Midlands feeling it belongs to them and the South East uh, feeling similarly strongly, which I think is fantastic for marketing and acceptance. The national awareness of BISTA has really um, given us a, a complete door opener. Um, and so I think nowadays instantly people know where it is uh, with its um, equidistance from two junctions on the M40, uh, not to mention um, 20 miles from the M1 and as Miranda has alluded to um, various other uh, very significant national attractions. One of the issues that we find with businesses joining our campus is the concern about moving from far afield but also about recruitment. They typically find themselves having had difficulty finding the skills in their regions um, but that's not the case uh, in Vista. Uh, one of our specialists arrived four weeks ago. Um, they put an advertisement through the social media in Vista. They had 31 applications within a week. And we've experienced the benefit of that also in recruiting for our own team. And we've done that very successfully, very, very quickly. And in fact, there is a, a great heritage of uh, particularly engineering skills, but other skills in, in the area. And of course, the accessibility of Vista means that the, the, the catchment for um, your, uh, bringing people in with skills is very strong, but also there is plenty of housing supply, so if people are relocating, there's an opportunity to get on uh, and live here um, in a town that um, it has thought big and is thinking much bigger into the future. The networking opportunity uh, through Vista Vision has been um, talked about uh, today and continues to be talked about. Um, I think, or sorry, I beg your pardon, will be, continue to be talked about. Uh, it's a great um, organisation. Um, we've benefited greatly from that. And we have uh, noticed very much an open-door policy. In fact, we are um, from the other businesses and we are creating business alliances in the area. And uh, it's been a great boon to, to our activities. A nice quotation from the Evening Standard uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, the turnaround for the time capsule airbase dating to the 20s has been spectacular. Um, I really don't think that would have been possible um, outside of Vista um, and its accessibility. It wouldn't have happened so fast, so convincingly, um, and in a, such a risk-free fashion had it not been here. We've got a vision, um, that is to uh, tap into uh, or provide for the uh, visitor economy in Vista, and the footfall uh, is dramatic. I think it, um, across Oxfordshire, accounts for about a third of the, the tourism traffic. Uh, we are looking at these heritage assets and looking to promote those um, and exhibit them um, beyond our uh, initial business park idea. Uh, we want to create uh, a destination motor show where um, it'll be like going to uh, probably a car museum, but everything is for sale. 
we have a try before you buy opportunity there. And we're also looking to uh, explore the possibilities of hotel and conference facilities which are lacking in the area. Um, and alongside that, um, as a further attraction to visitors, um, develop our events uh, and experiences. And so, whilst we've achieved a lot, the um, uh, site is already, within three years, contributing um, £20 million pounds worth uh, of trade um, to the locality. Um, we've got much bigger ambitions and we look forward to enjoying the support um, of our neighbours and, and other stakeholders. Just a couple of words uh, on apprenticeships. Um, very interesting to hear um, what uh, Vista Village are uh, engaged with also. We founded last year uh, the first historic vehicle restoration course, um, uh, restoration app apprenticeship in uh, the country. It's the only accredited one. Um, we very quickly uh, found that Banbury and Vista College Activate Learning were uh, open to the, the prospect of launching a brand new course um, and did so last year with, with eight students. Um, we now have uh, 28 uh, for the coming year and it's actually outgrown the modern motorsport college um, just half a mile from us and we're welcoming them um, to a building on our own campus uh, fulfilling one of our pillars of ambition um, which is a, a great excitement. The future of these skills needs to be preserved and we're better than a working environment when they can be practiced um, and shared amongst um, future employers and also uh, amongst uh, future customers and existing customers. So the future proofing continues. I um, hope you'll come and see us. We've got a Sunday brunch and open day on uh, this Sunday. Um, please book in advance. Um, the tickets are selling and if you want to avoid the queue, um, we would be delighted to see you. And if, even if you don't like cars and planes, we've got a perfectly preserved pre-war bomber station, uh, the last of its kind uh, existing. And um, if we can uh, transfer uh, not only the knowledge um, of these uh, apprentices, but also the experience um, uh, to visitors, then we would be uh, thrilled to see you. So thank you very much. Thank you.